Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and welcome to the 30 days of automation testing with Selenium with framework creation. In this video, we are going to learn about the very important topic which is called as how to perform any kind of a mouse click keyboard interaction and by using the action class in Selenium, right? So we're going to learn why we do it, what exactly do it. We're going to see some live example and I'm going to give you one two task that you should be doing so that you can master the action class in Selenium, right? So let's jump into the video, right? So before we start, guys, I just wanted to let you know if you want to have these kind of challenges, 30 days of challenges we have done in past, 30 days of API testing is ready, 30 days of automation testing is ready, 30 days of rest assured with framework creation is ready. So make sure you put your efforts and go watch them, give one hour daily, learn API testing as well as automation testing from scratch in 30 days, master yourself so that you can crack your interviews, get a more hikes like in this time. Right. All right. So let's get started with the action class. What is action class and why we use it? Right. So this is one of the important things. Suppose uh, you have this page, right? Uh, this is a page that you want. For example, you want to drag here from here. Make sense. So that's what you can. It's how you how you will basically simulate this kind of a thing. Right. You can use Selenium action class for that. If you want to click here, if you want to double click, right. If you want to use certain keyword interaction, for example, control plus A, control plus X, control plus C, right? These kind of thing that you want, for example, control plus V, these kind of thing that you would like to do, then definitely you need to use action class of Selenium. Let me make myself smaller, right? So uh, this action class is basically used to handle uh, mouse clicks, keyboard events in a web browser. You can use drop, uh, drag and drop, hover element, move element, file drop. Action class is nothing but provides you advanced kind of a user interaction APIs. Make sense? Cool. Let's take a couple of examples. So it is pretty straightforward. Lots of people like, uh, forget the syntax, but trust me, it's very simple. You have to use actions class and here you need to mention the driver. Right after that, you basically uh, here you would mention the type of uh, action that you would like to do. For example, action dot move to an element, click and hold, hover an element, move drag and drop, right? These kind of actions. I'll give you a list of elements that you, uh, list of uh, things that you can do. You can do double click, drag and drop, context click, click and hold, click and hold, move to a particular element most of the time. About 70% of the time you will be using this thing because of the uh, Ajax nature or hover things right now. CSS is increasing, right? CSS3, extra are coming. People are using hover elements rather than, so that's where action class is helpful. Keyword event, you want to use send case, key up, key down, control A, control A, control C, right? You want to use that, you can use action class after that. Live example. Let's see some live example, guys. Yes. Uh, where it is action class? Yes. It's a very simple example that I have prepared for you. So this is the demo that I have already shown you, right? So this is the thing. Uh, if you go open the, so this, so we have the first ID, which is draggable, which is droppable, right? We need draggable to droppable. If you drop it, it will basically say dropped. So text will be changed. You see, right? Drop. That's what we want to verify. Simple way, very simple, creating a Fire Phone instance, opening it, creating an instance of actions. That's what, that is important, right? Now you have to use action. So basically we are getting the elements, drag and drop first. Action dog, action dot. So let's see what are the different element, uh, function that I have already told, right? So you can use action dot. If you see drag and drop is there, click is there, move to element is there, perf, uh, send keys is there, context click is there, double click is there, right? Move up, move down. And after that, like a couple of more, right? So right now we need drag and drop. Drag and drop is basically from where I want to drag, drag element. I need this element, that element, build dot perform. Straightforward build dot perform after that. Not, and after that, we are verifying it. What is the thing that is coming? So let's run the example quickly. And let's see if it is working fine or fine for us or not. Five rocks open. Opening the URL. Let's see, let's see, let's see drag and drop perfect simple way and we have dropped make sense right so you can use another methods uh, related to like move to elements if you want to use that uh, for example action dot move to element again you have to give the target from where you want to go to right so you have to basically give the element here right so you need a web element target or the second one is basically the second method that you can use if you do here, right? So you will have two, for example, the first one is target and second one is offset. You can give X and Y coordinate also, right? 
so let me uh, show you one of the demo i guess i already have it here where it is live main serenium google.com no one of the demo that you can try out is again uh, you can go to staging.engineeringai.com and i'll like give you the uh, give you the solution in the next window or next next video right uh, if you do this uh, if you see if you hover over it right it will basically give you a login option unless you if you click on it it will not give you no cancel hover over it login hover login right so that you can do and we have successfully done this in the previous example day 3 or day 4 if you have seen this login example that i have showed you right hover over it so we have used action class for that right so you can try out this example solution in the description you can try out after some times so in the next video we'll have the solution right so you can try out the same thing thanks a lot for watching i hope you have learned something uh, don't forget to uh so selenium interview question of the day how to do double click you have, you can use double click method action dot double click if you want to drag and drop you can use drag and drop function uh move to element give the element you can give at offset also x and y keyboard element you can use key up key downs and keys uh more things you can use for keyboard keyboard right if you want to use it you can directly use keys dot and after that you will have bunch of fields that you can do enter arrow down so whole keyword that you can show you can use that so keys is already for example if i do this thing uh, these are already available in your selenium right so that's what that's what you can use task for the day make sure you go to the facebook group and do uh, basically uh, give out whatever that you have learned right if you are not comfortable create a blog write it down what you have learned regarding the action class thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video bye